Hey, and welcome into Vinny Rotino Baseball Academy. This is the channel where we are breaking things down in the game of baseball. We're taking a look at amateur prospects in the area. We're taking a look at amateur prospects around the country. We're also breaking down swings from, from uh, videos that you guys send in to me and uh, doing some virtual instruction for free. Um, <clears throat> so please continue to send in those videos. Today, we are going to take a look at a player that I actually work with named Warner Selvasi. This kid is an absolute stud. He's going to be a major leaguer someday. This guy has a, a ton of uh, ability. He also has a, a ton of love for the game. He's one of the one of the kids that I work with that is a real joy to work with. His dad, Joe Silvasi, I played high school baseball with at St. Catharines High School. A uh, good friend of mine, he helps out at the, hit, at the hitting center on Friday nights. Um, the Racine Baseball Co-op Hitting Center, um, but he uh, also does a, a really great job with all the kids that he helps with. And uh, today we're going to take a look at his son. His his uh, he's got three sons. Jackson is his oldest. That's also in the camp, and then Warner is the younger one that is in the camp. And he uh, we're going to just break down his swing and just kind of show you guys what I've kind of worked with with him. And so let's go ahead and share that screen take a look at the swing. So here's Warner right here. Like I said, absolute stud. Uh, this kid is going to be a major leaguer. So what I tell, first and foremost, what I tell the kids and what I, what I try and instill in each and every session, especially at this age, when I'm working with the younger kids, is that I want to teach these kids how to learn how to play the game of baseball. I want to teach these kids how to learn. I want to teach these kids how to work hard, right? So that is a skill. And what I tell them is I tell them, I want, I want to teach them how to, how to focus. Um, and so I tell them each and every, every practice, like who can focus the most, who can focus the best, who can focus the hardest. Those are the players that always end up being the best players. Um, it's a, it's about focus. It's about hard work. I used to write underneath the bill of my cap when I was in high school and in college, you know, focus, hard work. And I used to have all different kinds of sayings. It didn't, it changed every once in a while. My coach, Jack, she still used to teach me that is to write something under the bill of my cap. And, and that would be a reminder every time I go out to the field, just go ahead and look under the bill of my cap. And there's that message that I wanted to, to remember. And it, and the message of focus is so important. That's what I try and teach these kids. Warner, I'm telling you, is one of those kids that has really taken a step with his focus from last year to this year. And you can see how young he is. And, and it's hard for this age group to focus. And his brother's gotten there as well. Really, really great job by Jackson as well. And we'll do a breakdown of him at some point too. But Warner has just done an absolute phenomenal job of focusing and really working on and focusing on what we've been working on with him. So let's, let's get into it. What have we been working on with him? So essentially we've gotten him to get a little bit wider in his setup, a little bit more athletic. And then we just want him to keep his head down through the ball. So again, so, so it's the setup a little more athletic and he thinks about this every single swing. So that's, what's impressive about him lately is that, you know, again, it's the focus it's, you got to refocus every single time in order to make things happen. And that's what I try and instill in the kids that I work with. So again, he gets, uh, he gets in that better setup and then he's keeping his head through the ball. But then also I, I told him, I want him to really, really turn on that back foot, old school idea, simple idea. Keep it simple with the young guys, keep it simple with the young kids. And you're going to see the fact that he's able to turn, or that's what his thought process is turning on that back foot, turning on that backside is going to allow him to turn through the baseball with more, uh, with a better, you know, biomechanical sequence at the end of the day. Again, you do not want to get too complicated and even use the words biomechanical sequence with this age group, right? So you're just trying to give them big ideas, simple ideas to think about. And all that is, is turn hard on that back foot. So let's take a look. So that bottom swing is what we're going to look at first. So here he is. You can see that he doesn't really turn all the way through, or if he does, he kind of turns back. Okay. See it again there. So now we're going to take a look at the top swing. Okay, watch him just turn hard on that back foot. Look at that. He almost falls over, which I don't mind because we're trying to teach him to turn, and he does an excellent job of that. So, okay, look at that bottom swing again. It's, it's a good swing, even on this bottom swing, and he actually does a good job of 
turning, but then he, and then he turns it back as he's coming through the baseball. And then on this top swing, we're going to go ahead and take a look and look at how much more of a, of a stride that he gets because he, of that intent of wanting to turn hard with that back foot, his body automatically organized to kind of get more um, force striding out, but take a look at that back foot back foot is turned through the baseball and he just does a phenomenal job of getting everything through and he smashed that ball. And uh, again, I'm pointing out the fact that the stride length, which is a good thing, right? It's a good thing. Obviously you don't want players to lunge, but, um, and just totally leave everything um, onto the front foot and kind of uh, lunge at the baseball and, and, and all the weight goes to the front side. That's not what we're looking at looking for we're looking for uh some force and really go ahead and travel go ahead and go to the pitcher and does a great job of that and you can see how much longer that stride is which again is is a good thing i think a lot of coaches and a lot of people have a misconception about striding out i mean christian yelich probably has the longest stride in the game i mean it is really really out there so um again he didn't I didn't tell him I want the intention in this swing that I want you to stride out there. No, I told him I want him to turn on that backside and look how much better he organized. He's, there's a, a bigger stride because of the idea of turning on that backside. All that force is going to start from the back to the front. We talk about that a lot as well. So hope you enjoyed this. Warner is, a, is an absolute pleasure to work with. Um, Warner Silvasi, watch out for him. He's going to be a player someday. And um, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time.